and let's continue so what we want to do now is to create this bar down here that contains the login form so to do that let's go down here you see this is the big blue bar here which is this one so we want to create something below the bar so even in here we'll create another div below this div so let's go down here and say div like so so to create opening and closing so make sure opening and closing div are there and then let's add some styles now of course the styles on this one uh, will be very few so we can still write them right here without going up there so we're going to say background color the color i want for this background is white so i can still write white like that it still works and then i'm going to give it a width now width i want it to be 800 pixels because i don't want it to go all the way to the uh, sorry this is not width that's width so width like that 800 pixels so and then as usual we need to give it some kind of a height for us to see it so i'll say 400 pixels like that so let's go back and see what we have done here so we have this white bar here but we want it in the center so we are going to tell it that the margin now margin is the distance between your object and the next object that's the margin so we're going to tell it the margin on the right and the margin on the left now instead of doing margin right margin left we can still just write margin and say auto so what that does automatic takes it to the center so you see now it's in the center like that okay now if we want to add another margin on the top we can still do that and say margin top even at the end here margin slash top and then let's give it maybe 20 pixels uh, maybe that should be a hundred actually let me see what that does okay there we go maybe too much uh, let's let's put something like 50. okay that's much better now as you've noticed the styles are too many i thought there would be few but uh, they're too many so what we do is let's go up here in the styles and create another one let's just say uh, uh login bar or something you can name these anything that you want is there another one with login bar they just bar them so let be as long as the names are different that's all that matters still you can write bar one or bar two we can still do this you can write bar two like that that's also fine as long as here we give this an id of bar two like so so that's bar two and let's get all the styles that we've added here cut let's remove styles here entirely and then go to bar two and paste them here so this will still work like this no problem same but in the interest of seeing them look neat we're going to do that to them press enter press enter like that so that's bar two which is this one now this bar is the one here and we need to add some titles in here so for example there's login to facebook so let's start with that so let's go in here and just say login login to uh, my book like so and let's see what that does so you see it's right at the corner there and that's not exactly what we want we want it in the center now since we want everything in the center it's better to tell this container to put everything in the center so this container is this bar too so let's just go up here and first of all let's add some padding just in case so let me add padding of 10 pixels and then also let me tell it that the text alignment align all the text into the center like so so when i go back and refresh everything is in the center like that now another uh, okay let's add some input first so here there's this part where the user types something a username email or password and then the login button now these are not divs because the user has to type something in there they are called inputs because we are getting an input from the user now in order to show an input let's go down here we write the keyword input like so 
Now, if you see here, there's this type thing here. Now we have to tell it what type of input we're using. This type is called text, where a user is allowed to type something, okay? And then once we do that, uh, there are two inputs. So let me just copy this one. And then also surprisingly, the button here is also an input. Now this is an input called submit. Now the reason we're using this is so that when the user clicks this button, immediately the information is submitted where we want it submitted. Okay. We won't be using this name thing here. So instead, let's give it an ID instead. Let's change this to ID so that we can have an ID to use here. Okay. So let's name this one, uh, <coughs> excuse me, button. And let's name this one uh, text, just text like that. So that's the ID right there. Okay, so we have these. Now let's go and see what we've done. Okay, it doesn't look exactly like what we want. Now, if you notice, they're all on the, on the same line like this. Now, the reason is simple because white uh, spaces here don't count. When uh, the browser is reading the information, it doesn't care that this and this is on another line it will read it as one line now in order to tell it to put these things on separate lines you have to use an actual tag called the break tag so to write the break tag you put the anchor tag and put br and close it like that now this unlike all these other tags that you have an opening and a closing the break tag doesn't actually have opening and closing it's a self-closing tag Usually we would write it like this, but even like this is fine. So if I put break tags here and there, then you're going to see that everything breaks into pieces. But I want more spaces there, so I'm going to put two break tags each. So I'll just add one more break tag on each of these. Refresh, and that looks much, much better. Now I want more space at the top here. So what's causing the space here is the padding from the big box. So let me go to the big box here, which is called bar two. There's padding of 10, but I want more padding at the top. So I'm going to say padding top and put a bigger number. Let's say 50 pixels. Yeah, should have gone bigger, but uh, that's enough. Okay. All right, so at this point we have created these and you see submit query here, we want to uh, write login inside there instead of that. So what we do here, we go on the submit button because this is the button right here. And then let's leave a space and write something called value. So we're telling it that the value of this button is login. Let's leave a space. And that looks much better. So not there yet, but at least we are seeing where this is going. And in the interest of keeping the videos short, I'm going to style these in the next video. So see you in the next video.